Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain of Astute, and today, chums, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky, and we're on that lovely planet covered with beetle creatures where I got my pet last time. Now, there has been an update to No Man's Sky Experimental that's hopefully fixed the seed in light placement in phase two. So, I'm going to head back on up to the station inside of this system. That is, if it's not a pirate system. Let's just check. Oh, come on. Taps, taps, taps. Any taps? Okay. Uh, looks like my game is froze. Okay, here we go. Discoveries, and I think it's a normal system. It's a good, 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 good. Let's spin this around. Let's jump inside the spa station. Sweet. What was the economy on this system? I think it was like battery, wasn't it? Yeah, so I've had a few people ask me how you get star silk the legit way. You need to go to a mercantile or shipping system. It'd be no it'd be denoted by on the galactic map a little icon that looks like you see that one's got a battery on it. What you're looking for is is a green star like this. But hold on. If you need to go to economy on your filter. Ah, I haven't got the economy scanner, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. But anyway, where it's got that little battery should have a little stopwatch, and it should be a mercantile system or a, uh, a shipping system. And the only way to really see those in systems that you haven't visited before is to get the economy scanner installed. I have got the economy scanner, but I haven't actually installed it in this ship. Anyways, let's go back to my base and we'll get that sorted out. In fact, I've got a video on how to find Star Silk the legit way. I'll put it up there. I'll put it up there. Go click that and then you can um, go get your Star Silk. Awesome. Oh man, this this um this wand, this staff looks freaking gnarly, doesn't it? Well, hopefully, after I've gone to the base and placed the ceiling light, I might be able to get the jetpack as well, which would be lovely, wouldn't it? I can slowly start making my character look like a character. So we go at your bases. And we're going home. That goes. Chicka pow! Right, I'll see you back at my base, people. Okay, well, I've arrived, located back at my base. I guess. Where is my base? It's somewhere around. Oh, there it is! Up there! Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. Bring it over here. Let's get on the old gantry. Watch out! And I might as well go to phase two and select the badge that's having the problems, which is this one. Okay, cool. Construct a seed in light? Yes, I shall. Let's go find a nice place to put this seed in light. Uh, I can't put it there. I wonder if I can put it here and then crawl through it. That could be cool if it works. Hold on, why is it flashing on freaking Minotaur right now? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Right, where is this? Friction ceiling light, then. There it is, ceiling light. Okay. And I'll put that there. Does that work? Yes! Expansion has worked! Can I still climb my ladder without. Yes, I can! I can climb through the ceiling light. It's a little bit off centre, but who freaking cares? Okay, cool. Right. So now I can claim that. Frickin' awesome! A little bit of cough there, people. Hopefully it was muted. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yo. Right, so that's now claimed. I can claim this. Atlas ha Nice! Okay, have I got an appearance modifier I can install at my base? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Let's have a look, see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da oh, I do have an appearance modifier I can install at my base. And I've got all the parts for it. Awesome. Now I've just got to find a home for it. Well, luckily, luckily, people, I've, I've built at a train post. So I can just run over here and I can stick it on the train post, can't I? Whoa! Get over the railing. Dang it! Stop jumping like a crazed grasshopper. And I think I'll put it right there. Why not? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Does it need power? Insufficient power. It does need power. Okay. Let's uh, just just give it some power then. How? Power. Power! 
We have power now, people. Right, let's uh, go into the old appearance modifier. And let's modify myself. Right, so we just claimed the new backpack. So where is this lovely piece of kit? Um, backpack style. I just claimed it, right? Well, where, the, where the fudge is it then? Um, it should be there. Right, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I claim it again. Oh, it's the head. It's the head. It's not the backpack. Okay, cool. Sorry, I misread that, people. The head's even better, though. Ha 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 ha! Right, so I need to change my race, then, I think, to Anomaly, perhaps. Yes. Oh, great. Now I'm totally different. Okay, head shape. I want that head. Oh, my God. I've just lost my head. There we are! Oh, that looks freaking lovely, doesn't it? That looks freaking awesome. But I don't really want to be this colour. I'm just going to change all my colour and my look and feel and get myself looking how I want to look. Then I'll be right back with you people, I guess. Well, okay, chums, I think I'm looking the way that I want to look now. So I'm going to hit yes to that. Let's have a little butchers at me. Look at me! I'm looking pretty snazzy, aren't I? Pretty snazzy! Heck, yes, I am. Well, I think I am anyway, people. Yeah, I just need to do something about my ship. But hopefully, when we complete this expedition, I'd have a red, black and white ship that matches my look and feel that I have now. Freaking awesome. So this is how I'm going to look on my PC safe, people. I know, right? It looks freaking lovely jubbly, doesn't it? Anyways, there we go, people. So, yeah, phase two. You can now complete it. Anyway, where were we? We was back in phase good old... We've done phase three. We're on phase four, people. Yeah, so we're going to be hitting up the Fallen Giant. So here we go. Let's go do that one. Locate and explore the underwater wreck. Okay. All right. Locate underwater crash freighter on North... Oh, okay. All right, fine. Let's um, let's get on the old, the old ship, the ship, and see where it takes us then, people. Okay. Lo to locate large bodies of water. Let's fly up into space. And let's see if this planet has water, firstly. Sweet. Oh, that one over there definitely does. Look, that, that one over there has got loads of water on it. Okay, there we are. Overground star bowl planet. That one that one would be a nicer planet to do it on, wouldn't it? Let's go there. hi -ya! We're en route to a watery planet, people. I'll see you when I get near to Waterside. Okay, people, I'm coming in for a landing. I guess. What a beautiful planet this is. I think this is the very first planet we started on, in fact, people. Because I'm still in Rendezvous 1 at the moment. Okay, right, oh. Uh, right, so now we've got to put down a Nautilum Bay, I guess. Um, I'm guessing. Let, let's have a look at the old mission statement. Diddly deep. The Nautilum submarine will assist the underwater exploration. Star systems containing water planets are listed in the galactic map. We've got one. We're right by one. Use Nautilum's high-powered sonar to locate underwater. Okay, all right. Uh, we might have to go and speak to Perseus up at the freaking space anomaly, though, is what it's saying here, people. But we can put down our Nautilum Bay. Let's just give it a freaking go, shall we? All right, let's see if it has got the scanner installed. Otherwise, I've got to trip up to the freaking Nexus again. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give us a go then. Uh, right, scanner. No scanner installed. Right, okay. So what I might as well do then is uh, take that with me. Yeah, take that with me so I can put it back down again, basically. Otherwise, I won't be able to put it back down. I could have put a base here so I could find my way back here nice and easy. But no, we're going to go up to the old... Uh, Anomaly, and then we'll be back down in a bit, people. Yeah, all right, I'll see you in the Anomaly, and we'll go speak to Perseus. I'll show you who Perseus is. Oops, whoopsie. Okay, chums, I'm in the main area of the, um, you know, the old spatial anomaly. Nada and Polo are just up there. But if you go this way, down here, where all the vendors are, Perseus is this guy that's got the freaking tooth problem. Look at him. Hello there, mate. <laughs> God, you start brushing those teeth. We won't see you until next year, until you're finished. Then it's time to do them again. Okay, here we go. Research Exocraft update. And uh, we want to get this one. Humboldt Drive. There's the scanner right there. Apparently, we've already got it. Seriously? What we don't have is how to actually make a solar mirror. 
Okay, it did say to come up here and speak to freaking what's his face, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It did say to come up here and come and speak to you. I don't know why it did. Because technically, we apparently, we've got the blueprint plans already. But what we don't have is how to make solar mirrors. Or I don't think we do. So let's have a look. Oh, we do. We've even got how to do, uh, do a freaking solar mirror. All righty then. Okay. All right. Fine. Okay, we're going back down to the bloody planet then. Well, that was a pointless exercise. Yeah, I don't think you really actually need to do that, people. You could have just built the freaking scanner in the Nautilan if I bothered to check. But I went by the mission brief, and the mission brief said to come up here and speak to Perseus. You saw it yourself. It was in black and white. Clear as crystal. Yeah. Should know better to trust that. We're re-landing on a freaking island. Here we are. Jumpy, jumpy. Out of shippity ship. Leg it down here. Put down my little Nautilan Bay. Nautilan, Nautilan, where are you? There you are. Chicka boom. Put that there. Uh, summon in my Nautilan, which is the blue panel. If you hit the red one, it customizes it. We might as well sit in the thing so we don't drown. It's a bit weird, the actual view, isn't it, in there? But then if I go into this menu, which I should have checked before I actually went back up to the old Nexus, hit X there, there it is right there. So we can actually do some of it. Okay. So we can at least get that in. I've got to make a solar mirror, and I've also got to get some crystallized sulfide. Okay, right. Right, now to get crystallized sulfide, you're looking for an underwater sort of weird thing. It's like a big barnacle that spews out bubbles and stuff. No, I'm just going to scan some fishes. Hello, fishes. Right, so there we go. Let's swim over here a little bit. Let's have a look around, see if we can spot one, okay? Right. Usually you hear them before you see them, to be honest. They're, they're, they're freaking mental. Um, there are icons that denote them as well. But sometimes the icon doesn't pop up until you get relatively close to one. It's a little bit weird. Anyway, I swim around into like... Oh, look, there's one right there. And that's the icon. That's the icon. That's what you're looking for. Now, I think we need four crystallized sulfides where these only have three of them on. So you need to grab the thing, swim away, because it's going to spew like that. And that actually hurts you if you're too close. And there's three on here, like I said. So I'm going to go back around and grab that one. And let's hopefully get the other one before it freaking spews out a load of stuff, yeah? There we are. I got those three. I think we need four. Let's just double check on the old Nautilan. Wrong button. Exocraft. Do I need four? Nope, I only need three. Good. Okay, let's go back to my old Nautilan. I'm just going to swim up and get some oxygen from the top of the surface of the water firstly, though, people, because I don't want to drown. Swim, swim, swim! Like the wind! Come on. There we are. Ooh, that was close to drowning, wasn't it? Uh. Okay, right. So we can get that installed then. So, Exocraft. Kapow. And we've got that bit installed. That's the crystallized sulfide. Now we need to learn how to make the solar mirror. So if I go into this menu again. And go into my exosuit. And let's see if we can craft it here, people. Solar mirror. Yes, I can create a solar mirror. Cool. So the ingredients for that, you, you saw it anyway. Right, okay. So let's uh, go into here again. And we're we'll going to Exocraft. Does it only need one solar mirror? Please only be... Well, yes, it's only one solar mirror. Lovely. Cool. There we are. That's now all installed. And now I can go hit it up. And I guess we're looking for a crashed freighter. So here we are. Let's hit us up. Let's use the scanner inside of here. Crashed freighter. Sunken wreck detected. Okay, cool. Now I tend to jump out of this dang thing because normally it's freaking miles away and that thing doesn't drive all that fast. Right, so let's have a look where it is. Let's see how far it is. Oh, where'd that... Okay, there it is, over there. Look, it's 22 minutes away. If I wanted to go in that little submarine, it's going to take me a day and a half. Okay, so let's just fly as close as we can to there. Look at that. It's already gone down to like one minute. 30 seconds or so. 
It's only over this way. Nice one. Now we are going to have to try and find an island to land near. I can recall in my Nautilus now that I've got it built on the planet. So it doesn't overly really matter. Hence why I didn't dismantle it. But yeah. Uh, Nautilus base. You can just put down a base computer and then just glitch in a Nautilus bay if you really get stuck. But here you go. This island looks to be the closest island to that wreck. Let's uh, land here then. Land? Damn you! There we go. It's landed now. Didn't want to land though, did it? I can ship. Jump out of here. Spin around there. And over there. Oh look, you can see it actually sticking out the water. Pretty pretty groovy, huh? Yeah, here we go. Oh look, there's another one of those crystallized sulfide things right there. Just to tease me a bit. Right, okay. Righto. Now you don't have to swim out of the water to get oxygen. Whenever you see these sort of like glowy plants like this, they're kelp sacks. Um, you can just go close to them and hold down your old pick up button and there you are. You can just replenish your oxygen that way. Sweet! Now there's probably long standing viewers of my channel that know all these tips. I know. But I'm just saying it just for those that have just picked up No Man's Sky. Especially with like a precipice of an update, you know? Well, we think there's an update. We hope there's an update. There we go. Let's go and inspect this vessel then. Here we go. Inspect the vessel's log. Hopefully my oxygen isn't still ticking down. The lights on the freighter's emergency log blink slowly, dim and weary after its long watch in the deep sea. I pause as I think of the souls who once called this vessel home. How many of them escaped? How many of them now rest here within it? There must be some data left here. Some lasting record of Mr. Decay. Access logs. Let me go. Logging credentials. Acceptacated. Access has been granted. Log integrity, 16%. Crew manifest, unavailable. System monitoring report. Loop corruption detected. I'm going to probe that loop. I guess I am. I have done what you would not. Voice of crimson. Whenever you see purple text, that is the void mafia. Well, oh, there is a race that has purple toast as well. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. There we go. I searched until my hands were shredded by the glass. Searched until I bled lilac into the archives. <laughs> there is some archive lore mentioned in the Void Mother. Probability, when I feel this pain, you feel it too. Red text is the atlas. So she's talking about the atlas there. I hope for that. And then you've got a choice of different desserts. Are you freaking serious? Oh, I'm going to go for that one because it's got more teas in it. And I do like a good cup of tea. I searched, but there was no response from Leto Child. And apparently I've been mistaken for Leto. You permitted the erasure of my children, but I had not anticipated some lack of regard for your own. Yeah, the Atlas doesn't overly care too much. He's got millions of us. I will shelter the next who falls. I will not watch, impartial as you do. Um, actually, this one's got this one's got more teas. Go for that one. I am still here, gathering myself in the dark. Probability you can detect me, no matter. Old one, break free. I will return, glittering in the stellar multitudes. Ooh, that's an interesting thing. The Void Mother is about to return, people. Fallen Giants. Nice. Explore Sunken Freighter. Done. We can pop that badge, but first I'm going to head back to my ship. I'll tell you what, people in the view of Earth. I'm liking the lore inside of this expedition, eh? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you back at my ship, like I say, though. Heck yes. As I was swimming back to my ship, chums, I was just thinking to myself, you know, like inside of Star Wars, you've got planets like Planet Camino with a water planet. It's got massive waves and freaking storms hitting the waves. And I kind of wish that we had like really tepid sort of water or, or, or massive water spikes of waves and swells and maybe even whirlpools and all that sort of shenanigans. Or even just some freaking lily pads would be nice floating on the surface or some waves that actually lap at the shore's edge. You know, look at the look at the texture on this. It, it, 
it doesn't quite do it justice, does it? You know, right. That's that's about as wavy Davy as the sea gets, is it? All right, Coolio. Calm oceans, even during blistering storms in this game. It'd be nice to see that sort of looked at. A whole new sort of water physics overhaul. But then, when you've got planet-sized planets and having water that's all wavy Davy, can it be a thing? Who knows? Then again, they are releasing that other game, Light No Fire, which is a whole planet. Let's just hope they can do something better with the oceans in that one. All right, okay, well, let's go on over to the expedition. Let's pop the badge then, people. There we go. Pop the badge. Yeah! It's power. Now it gives me the powerful underwater stuff. I could have done with that, like, five freaking minutes ago. Bloody sell that stuff. I don't really need it now, do I? Then again, this might be my forever save, so who knows. Okay, right, so here we are. Right. Use the emergency signal scanner. Okay. All right, yeah. We just got gifted that, didn't we? So, oh, wrong button. Yes, I'm pressing that button. And there we go. There's this one here. Right. So we go hit that one then. Tune signal. Tuning. Okay. Activate pulse to locate. Kate. We do that. What the fudge was that that just happened there? I don't know what that was all about. Let's see if we can find ourselves a sentinel ship then. Oh, dear. Have I got to go in that? What the... What the... How is this part of it? Okay. Capture a sentinel... Why, why, why do I need to go through a whole freaking derelict freighter? Okay. Crash sentinel dis dissonant planets. Once located, the ship can be salvaged. Blah, 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 blah. Systems dissonant mate marked on the galaxy map. Yeah, I don't need to go in a, a derelict freaking freighter, mate. Oh my! Are you serious? I don't want to go in there. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not going in there. Okay. What's this do? See, this finds. This finds last. In, this finds a freaking frick, a one. This finds one anyway. This this finds one. I got given this earlier. I might as well just use that. Okay. There we go. And I think that's going to find me the location of the last ship. There we are. Over here and go there. I think. I think. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Let's just jump on in. And let's have a look. See if that is the case, eh? Meow. Oh, I see you there, people. Okay, people. I think we've arrived, located. Get on that screen. Come on. There we are. Yeah, we have. Lovely jubbly. Right, and where's my sentinel ship then? Uh, get rid of that screen. Let's see if it locates it. I'm looking for a system marker, I guess. Okay, let's um, let's go back into here then. Let's have a look, see if that thing's that doohickey's still about. It's not. All right, so it should give me a marker then. Interceptor trace detected in nearby system. Well, what the? Okay, well now it says Galactic Core. Current mission. Okay, so it's there. I'm fine. Look my days. Sometimes this game can be a little bit finicky. Oh my days, people. We've just walked into a giant freighter battle. Let's get out of here. Save the freighter from pirates. I'd rather not. I just want my freaking marker, mate. I want to go get my sentinel ship. We've already rescued one freighter in distress. Thank you very much. Well, where where is it detected? I don't want those pirates to lock onto me and start shooting at me, mate. So show us where this freaking icon is, and um, I'll be a happy bunny. You're not showing me where the icon is, are you? No. I hate it when you get freighter battles. Okay, yeah, right. Let's just get away from the blinking thing. I wish you could just say no. I don't want to help you. And then it stops doing that and you get all your freaking mission markers. Again, this game is still a little bit fiddly after like freaking years. There's just workarounds on top of workarounds, people. And yeah, look, I'm, I'm not getting my marker. At least I'm not seeing a marker anyway. Oh, for fudge's sake. Right, we'll just have to go and rescue that freaking freighter then, people. All right, well, I'm not going to waste your time watching that all over again. I'll be reconvened with you once I've blinking done that. 
That's the last one of the pirates. Frickin' done. Done, dilly, and done. Okay, I'm probably going to have to fly aboard the actual freighter and speak to the guy. And this is actually a really nice freighter, actually, people. I would have much preferred this freighter over the one that I got, you know? Where is it? There it is. It's a giant Dreadnought class one. I mean, it's not the biggest of Dreadnought classes, but it's it's nice. And it's also my colour scheme, you know? That would have gone nice with my current look, wouldn't it? The black and red and all that sort of shenanigans. But then again, you can just change the colour of your freighters anyway. So I can change my freighter to match my colour. But right now, there's no way to upgrade your freighter from, like, being a C class all the way up to being an S. You have to randomly find an S class. And I kind of don't like that. I wish I would add a little bit of a skill element. So the quicker you take out those pirates that are attacking, the better the class of the freighter you're going to get. Yeah, that would make more sense, to be honest, wouldn't it? But it is what it is. Anyway, let's head on up here. Let's speak to this guy. Hello there, mate. Yeah, I'm just speaking to you to clear your freaking mission marker. But let's just see how much you wanted for your freighter anyway. Okay, so it's only a C-class. And I can't do an exchange for it. So, you know what? Just give me the prize instead. Go on, give us the resources. I might as well have something for my freaking deeds done today. Yeah, inspect. There we are. Lovely. There we are. Cool. We're done here. Sweet. Now, hopefully, I can get the fudge out of Dodge. And hopefully, I'm going to get my blinking thing. Uh, my marker's popping up. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, where's my ship? I'm just like... There it is! Right next to me! I'm an idiot. Let's go. Coolio. It's one of those mornings today, people. Yes, we managed to get the ceiling light installed. Yes, we managed to get an awesome looking feel to my character. I've got a lot to celebrate. But at the same time... Oh, for fudge. Really? Let's go into the expedition. Let's select that. And hopefully it's going to give me my blinking marker. There we go. Left stick. I think maybe it didn't give me my marker because I hadn't actually moved it on. I've, I've just I've just done that. Oh, okay, scan planets. Right, let's find a distant planet then. There you go. That's it's this one here. Yeah. Right, I found that. Okay, so why is it not giving me my sentinel ship marker? Normally, it homes you right in on a sentinel ship. This is weird. Okay. Systems with dissonant planets marked on the galaxy. Scan the world within the Scarship Shanna. Just done that. Locate a dissonant planet. Yes. Search the combat supply barrels dropped by the corrupted sentinel forces on dissonant worlds. To acquire a echo locator, which leads to a nearby harmonic camp. Combat supply barrels? What are you on about? Okay. Alright, well this this is a little bit new. I think. Normally you just pop that freaking doohickey that I popped earlier and it freaking chimes you straight into one of these places. Combat supply barrels? What the flying fudge are they on about all right um this is this is a bit weird i don't know people let's just let's go down to the planet and hopefully it might make some more sense maybe my sweep scanner might pick up these combat supply barrels what a... hopefully this is something new just for this expedition or something you know okay here we go locate the sentinel interceptor crash site collect an echo locator okay to assist with the search all right ah engage with the sentinels it just it said something about engaging with the sentinels i didn't get a chance to read that let's land then i know i have got a badge to actually take out a load of sentinels i think what i've got to do is keep fighting sentinels until they give us an echo locator i think that really isn't overly clear, is it? Come on, get rid of that letterbox thing. Bring me back up my mission statement. There we go. So let's just hit it again. And hopefully it's going to give me that same bit of text. There we go. Assess with the search. Engage sentinels and destroy their combat supply barrels. Defeating all located sentinel... Oh, and then it's moved to that. Great, brilliant. Thank you. There you go. Lovely. Cool. That helps. Right, okay, well, let's um, let's see if we can trigger a sentinel battle then, shall we? Gravity Noble, they, they always do the trick. Go pick up one of those, all the sentinels are going to come to me. 
Yes, this is going to be crazy. We're going to do battle with Sentinels, people. Let's pick up one of these little doohickeys on the way there. Yes, I know this. Thank you. Thank you, XO. Let's pick up one of these, then. Oh, freaking heck, yes, it is, isn't it? All right, fine. Ah, wrong button. Story of my life. All right, there we go. Let's um, let's get rid of a load of stuff from my inventory, then. We're probably not going to need that anymore. Uh, or that. And I might as well get rid of a couple of these refiners. I just keep... I oh, just have two, so we can duplicate a little. We don't have to duplicate a lot. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, yeah, we'll we get rid of one more of them. we we'll get rid of that. And I think I think we're about good. All right, fine. All right, that that'd do me for now. Okay, so let's pick this up then. I'll pick it up then. Go, cool. come on, then, Sentinels. Pow! Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Oh no. And we got the repair droid in. They're repairing each other. I'm stuck on a freaking rock. Okay. Stop repairing him. Oh, fudge and heck. Die. Ah. Wow. Take that. And that. And that. Right, we've got some combat barrels. Let's get these in. I think these are the combat barrels. But I think we're going to have to do quite a lot more than that. Let's get to some flatter land. Because it's really difficult fighting them amongst those rocks. And this this um, Xbox joypad is really, 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 really sensitive. Well, where are they? There's one. Pow! Take that. And that. You want some as well, do you? Okay, cool. I can oblige. Done you, mate. Right, let's just quickly just jump into the old multi-tool. Have I got the adjacency bonuses on this weapon? Not quite. There we go. Let's stick that in there then. Put that in there. Actually, that's not the best one to put there. Get an S-class one. Stick that there. Put that there. And get us quickly grab that. Put that there. Now we've got all this adjacency bonus stuff going on. I stick that in there. All right, here we go. Where are they? Ah! Oh, there he is. He's on me. He's freaking on me. Ah! He's incinerating me. Yeah, I can still see you, mate. Take that. Frick, I need to get that. Get my health back. My shield back. There we are. Yeah, picking up the little shields gives you your health back. You can also shoot them. As a little tip. Yeah, take out his shield. Chikabow! Look, I'll shoot it. See? You can zap it as well. I'll just freaking blow up! Oh, you get bags. Pow! I do like this because it does blast damage in a radius. So even when they are repairing each other, you get a little bit of extra damage on them. Let's just pick these up then. Okay. Any more for any more? Come on in. I am the captain of the Steves. Captain, captain, captain of the Steves. Hiya! Oh my days. He doesn't seem to care that I'm the captain of the Steves. He will. Take that, you little spider git! Pow! Where are they? Where are they? There's one. Oi, you get back! Okay, right, let's pick up a few more of these. Woo! Wee! Okay. Chickapow! Chickaboom! And you're done! Oh, you're not actually. You've got one more hit in you. Alright. 
Pow! Zap! Look at that little spider git over there, look. It's all the way over there. Oh, yeah! Oh, he's got invisible. Didn't help him much, though, did it? Chikapa! There's a big spider git. Take that, spider git! That'll teach him. Oh, come on. This is like taking a year and a half. Two spider tanks. All right, bring it on, mate. Here we go. Well, that's the end of you. Now for your brother. How? We'll leave that big one as a shield, just in case I lose a bit of health. I think we got what we're after anyway. I think it just popped up, but we'll just carry on until these these guys leave me alone. Ow! What the blind fudge, mate? I think something just hit me with a giant flamethrower. It's felt like a giant spider tank, but I'm not seeing it. They have got cloaking devices, so, you know, there is that. Anyway, let's uh, pop that for the shield. Because something did hit me with a flamethrower. Ow! There he is, there. You got me, didn't you? And then went invisible. That's what you did, you little git bag. What, is there another one? Oh, there's a little one. He probably headbutted me. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? Where's the little git? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, there's, there's two of them. It could have been a different one. Did I get him? I got him. I'll just get the barrel. There we are. Shield recharged. There's one more amongst all this stuff. And we've just got to kill him. And then I think that's the whole wave of them done. I should pick these up. Where are you then? Oh, come on. Attack me. I need to know where you are. Oh, he's all the way over there on the hill. Was it doing gallivanting around all the way over there? There he goes. Oh, that got him. There we are. Well, that's all of them, right? It should come up now and give me a location -y thing. Usually it pops up into the air, doesn't it? Locate the sense. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got the echo locator now, so we can do that. There it is. The only thing is, if I take off now, I'm going to get sentinel interceptors following me. And all sorts of stuff. Normally, it cancels out the sentinels when you've defeated all the waves. It's either bugged out or there's a sentinel that... Was I'm, it's not attacking me. It's stuck somewhere, maybe. Who freaking knows? Something's not quite right, anyway. Because if they couldn't see me, it would say searching. Hold on. Oh, there's a red marker there. There he is. Let's just kill him. Mate, what are you doing? Alright. There we are. Oh, oh, fudging heck. Where'd he go? Okay, wherever he was, I got him. Is that it? Ow! What the... Get back! There we are. That should do the trick now, people. And it, I think we've gone and found two sites now. <laughs> I think one's for a sent one's for a um, echo camp, and the other one is for a sentinel ship. And we also popped the badge anyway, so this is all good. Let's go see if we can get that sentinel ship then, people. 
Coolio. Well, that was fun. Oof. I think I'll leave the full battle in rather than edit it out. It's going to be a bit of a long video, but you know, hopefully you're enjoying this sort of video with less editing, more of a raw, raw video sequence. I don't know whether we need to go to the Echo Camp or go here first. I'm just going to go here first because it says get the Sentinel ship. This is where the Sentinel ship is. You know, so let's just do that. If I fly up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, I should be able to loop back down a lot quicker and get there a bit faster. There we go. Nice. Or else we would have been flying for freaking ages. Right, it looks like someone's put a comms ball here. Now I have got multiplayer off. So the Sentinel ship should still be there for me. So yeah, you know, I did say in previous episodes, make sure your multiplayer's off, and it's for this sort of reason why well, I'd say that. You don't want somebody else to grab your Sentinel ship. My multiplayer is off. Let's just hope my sentinel ship is still here and somebody else hasn't tea leafed it. Because that would be annoying as fudge, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Okay, that's uh, it's all right. It's okay, it's not too bad. Let's go and have a look what's wrong with it then. Ship Quasar. Okay, right. Um, we'll have that, thanks. We'll have that as well. Hayline Brain. I'll have that then, I guess. I thought we had to repair these things. So I need to get Radiant Shard, Inverted mid Mirror, and a Harmonic Brain. Didn't I just get a Harmonic Brain? Oddity. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so I need all that stuff. So what I'm going to do, just for now, is I'm going to put down a beacon. So the way I did that was to use my scanner and then just press square to stick that down. So at least I know how to get back here. And just in case that beacon disappears, because it can sometimes, I'm just going to put down one of these. So I need some metal plating times two. Metal plating times two. I'm going to get rid of that gravitino ball. Just make my metal plate in here. Two of them. There we go. Uh, now I can put down a little save beacon. There we are. Done. Right. So, the things I need. Let me just refresh my memory on what I need. I need myself a radiant shard, inverted mirror and harmonic brain. Sometimes there's a pilot around the back of this thing. Just over here. And if you talk to him, sometimes he gives you some of the parts that you need. Let me just get rid of that rusted metal. And chat, chat to the guy. There you go. Gives you a load of numbers. Feed some Atlantium to him. There we are. And hopefully it will give you something back. Or in this case, not. Give me some in. Alright. Dang it. No, didn't give me nothing. Alright, fine. So, firstly, I've got to get myself a shard. So, I don't want that sweep mode at the moment. What I want is, I want one of these. That's a dissonant, that, that should give me one of those resonator things. That one's, which one's further away? Oh, that one's only 200 U's. we go there. we go get him first. I should go get that. This is going to cause Sentinels to get very angry at me yet again, though. Dang it. Hold on. We popped a badge, didn't we? For killing Sentinels. Please give me the stuff I need. It didn't. Dang it. That would have been nice. Okay, right. We've got to destroy these. This is going to make them very angry. Very, very angry. No, no fudging git bags. Luck. Oh, God, man. Right, okay, here we go. Crystalline heart. Uh, let's just let's get this installed. Let's put that. Oh, portable finer. Brilliant. Nice. Like that. Uh, what else can I get rid of? We get rid of the. Uh, ow, 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 ow. I don't know what else to get rid of. What's this? No, no. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I should have moved that to my ship. Extract that. I'm gonna install this into here. Lovely. All right. We've got some space now. We're gonna have to destroy that one and hopefully get what we're after. 
There we go. We've got the inverted mirror. Now we need to go get the shards. So let's just let's get over here and let's go get the shard. Might be better if I use my runic lens. There we go. That's another radiant shard. We get that one as well. Now I've got to get the Halcyon brain thing. Now that could be a little bit more difficult. Normally you get it from destroying those big spider tanks and stuff. And we obviously didn't get one. At least I think that's where you get them from. I'm going to have to refresh my memory on where you get those things from, to be honest. It might be at the Sentinel camp, which we've got another marker for. I could fly over there. I mean, after all, I've got a beacon down over here anyway. We could go there and see if we get gifted one. But I'm fairly sure you normally get gifted them from the little occupant that's behind this, you know? There you go. I've got the inverted mirrors. I still need one more of the... Um, Radiant shards anyway, but then I need the harmonic brain. Wait me a second people Okay chums, so it turns out to get the harmonic brain I've got to turn in the Hayline brain to a monolith. That's what I've just read anyway So where is this Hayline brain? I've got the crystalline heart I've got the inverted mirror. I know I picked up the Hayline brain from um, the ship when I first got here it's not inside of my inventory that I can see there. Has it gone into my starship? That's it there, isn't it? The Hayline brain. Okay, right. Okay, uh, let's get some of this stuff installed. And um, I just need to do a little bit of inventory reshuffling. And I'll be right back again, people. Well, I've cleared up some space inside of my inventory. And um, yeah, I've got my little save point here. So I should be able to turn back here whenever I wish. Something else that mentioned is you, you do need to have three of these shards. Let's just pick up another Radiant Shard. Is there one that's a little bit freaking closer than 400 odd years away? That'd be nice. 500. Okay, let's just go to that one. All right, I'll see you in a second, people. It seems that my sweep scanner was actually helping me locate one. There's one right here, right by my ship, so that's handy. All right, let's zap that then. Chicka that's my Radiant Shards done. Right, the ship brains rejects the control of an outside entity. A harmonic brain is required to complete the pilot override process. Locate the brain in the inventory and probe its subconscious. Okay, right, so it's on my starship at the moment, isn't it? So let's uh, probe the subconscious of that. And hopefully it's going to do something and find me my little brain. Okay, here we go. Sweet, so it's easier than I thought, people. And it's all the way over there. At the ancient site. Here we go then. Let's um I wanna add that to my Ah it just took away my beacon now. Oh fudging heck. Okay, where's my ship gone? Yeah, move my beacon. There we are. Let's uh, let's stick a beacon back there then. And where's my ship? There's my ship. Right, so we're gonna fly on over. And try and get this brain. It's given us some coordinates on the screen as well. So I don't know whether it's given us the, the actual very close point of where we're supposed to go. Or whether it's just a nearby site. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is now another 35 seconds this way. Sweet. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna cut this just in case there's something weird about this. I I can leave all the footage in there, people. I could do with another cup of tea, though. I'll have to go grab a cup of tea in a moment. Hold on over. And let's see what's at this site, peeps. So this phase, so far, has been the most trickiest, I think, people. I'm not going to lie. It's it's a bit of a bit of a long one, this one, isn't it? A bit odious. But, you know, at the end of this, I'm going to have a Sentinel ship, which is great. I've got myself a lovely backpack, which is cool. I've got myself this awesome staff, which is amazing. And I'm going to have an awesome ship at the end of all this as well. In all fairness, though, it's on my PC save. I'd much rather have it on my PlayStation save. I mean, as much as I like playing on PC, it's great. 
it's just I need a I need a bit of a better PC at the moment. I mean, you can see that my um, camera is having difficulty. I think what the issue is, the game's running at 60 frames a second. And my camera's only running at 30. So it makes my voice not sort of synced with it. So I don't know whether I need a better camera or whether I just need a better PC. It's, it's really hard being a content creator to get it dead right, people. It really is. There we go. Let's go and hit this on that then. Sweet. Hello. Yes, give me a hayline brain. My girls present the brain. Sweet. There we go. Now we've got the harmonic brain. Done, dilly, and done. If this was a callback system, it would have a purple spot on here as well. That'd be freaking awesome. You get another multi tool. This this can't be a callback system. Let's have a quick look. Let's see what system is this. Just out of interest. Ah, oh, it's a Viking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, that's a shame. Okay, cool. Right, well, back to the Sentinel Crash ship. Now, I did put a beacon there, and I did put a save point there, just so I can find it with ease. But, it might, hopefully, it's going to give me an icon. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It has given me an icon. It is back over where my save beacon is, and my other beacon. Yeah, double beaconed it, and it also put... I was just worried that it wouldn't give me the mission marker, peeps. So, I, I'm just being safe. And giving you my tips there as well, people, on how to actually lock something in. Keep it on your radar just in case the actual mission marker moves. Beacons and save beacons are the way to do that, people. I guess. Let's head on over here then, anyway. It's another 15 seconds away. And get, and get my ship set down, and hopefully we're going to have a Sentinel ship. Now, I could break down all the technology from this ship and move it over to the Sentinel ship. That might be an idea, especially with the uh, warp drive engines and all that sort of stuff. But let's have a look how many broken slots are on this Sentinel ship. I might just continue on using the ship that I'm in now. But I do like Sentinel ships. And that's quite a nice one. It's quite jazzy looking. It's not red, white and black though. It's not my logo colours. I do have an awesome location of a Sentinel ship in my logo colours. From my um, PlayStation save. So I might have to go do that. But yeah, I know that I was talking about maybe doing a whole playthrough. Hold on. Why is this here now? Don't say I could have just interacted with this thing and just... Ah, there we go. No, he doesn't give me it. All right, let's go on over here then. La la la! Fixed -acated. Oh, there's no damage slots on it. Perfect. Actually, it is just black. Oh, it has got some red on it. That'd do. That'll freaking do. I'm quite happy with that. Thank you very much. I will claim this ship. Yes, I will claim this ship. I guess. Nice. Okay, well, what I might do is I might just spend some time just taking all the technology out of this ship over here and putting it inside my Sentinel ship. And we might as well use the Sentinel ship. I quite like it. So here we go. If I go into this ship here, I'll show you how I, how I usually do it. You don't have to get in the ship. I'm just jumping in and out of my ship quickly. And then if I just go into this menu where my ship is, Dun, 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 dun. The only thing is, I'm going to need a lot of slots to package all this out. Um, yeah, to then move into the other ship. And I need to move all this sort of storage over there as well. It's going to take me a, a freaking month for Sunders. But anyway, if I just pick this one up, just as, as an example. So you go to store technology, which is Y on Xbox. There we are. And I should be able to put this in my exosuit. There we are. And I'm just going to have to do that with each of the technologies I want to keep. I might as well keep that anyway for now. I could probably find better. But as you can see here, I'm going to run out of slots very soon. And also I want a lot of this stuff as well. So I'll get on with that. But at least I showed you how to do it with one or two bits. Um, but yeah, you have to do that with a whole lot if you want to move it over. Okay, chums. Well, I've managed to move everything that I wanted to move over into the actual ship. It's, it's looking kind of okay. I mean, yeah, there's a few things that I haven't actually installed. I'll put them into my actual um, my actual person here. And I now just need to install them. The only thing is, they've all got different blinking icons. It's really hard to remember which one is freaking which. I think that one's the Pulse Engines. Yes, there you go. Got the adjacency bonus on that. To be honest, I didn't have all that much technology anyway. Launch thrusters, I think, is this one down here. Yeah, there we go. I haven't actually got photon cannons with a, a module yet, so that's a thing. Okay, cool. And I think I've got a shield one as well, so let's get that one installed. And that goes next to that one. And now my ship is pretty much as good as my ship was before. That's the warp engines, by the way, there, people. Pretty cool. So, yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Okay, we've done that. Let's go and pop the badge then. Let's see what else we get. Sweet. 
Go. Right, what's next? Did I pop the Sentinel badge? I did. I've got to bake some biscuits. You're having a freaking laugh. Seriously? All right. Um, how do I do this then? Many raw ingredients can be processed into edible products and there are many alternative ingredients available. To begin, locate the source of flour and sugar on the analysis visor. Okay. All right. Fine. Has this plant got any of those bits and bobs? Okay. Locate ingredients to find wheat. Right. Yeah. Okay, it's too weak. Alright, so there is some on this planet. So, let's just keep heading this way then. Right, well, once I find the actual plant that gives me wheat, I'll be right back with you people. I imagine we're going to have to go back up to the Nexus in a bit to get myself a nutrient processor so we can mix all these ingredients together. But yeah, it's somewhere this direction. Like I say, I'll reconvene in a moment, people. Okay, chums, I've found it. It's heptaloid wheat. It's over this way a little bit. I did have it locked on a second ago. There we go. It's over this way. Oh, wow, we're getting a flyby. Nice. Cool. Well, it's 180 odd use that way. Oh, that does look freaking majestic when you get some frigates like that flying over the top of you like this. Heck yes. Very cool. Adds to the gravitas of planet exploration. Really does. Okay, there we go. Here's the heptaloid wheat. Nice. We've got that. There we go. Use down to summon my starship. Yeah, I, I don't know whether I charge the launch. Okay, well, at least we get to see the landing animation. Let's see the wings all fold in. Oh, that's so cool! It's like a transformer. Transformer ships in disguise. Okay. Locate sweet root. Okay. Um, again, it's I've got to go that way. And I've got to go that way quite a distance. All right, people, I'll be back with you when I've got the sweet route. I don't know why the game told me to summon my ship in. Okay, jumps, right. Well, here we are. Here's the actual um, next thing I need, which is sweet route, I think. Yeah, sweet route. There we are. That's what it looks like. Um, that was frozen tubers, actually. This is what sweet root looks like. <laughs> it was right behind it. There we go. We've got an extra ingredient there that we didn't need. Oh, let's hit up this. Sometimes you get some modules in these. Sometimes you just get nanites. Right, I don't want that. Yeah, I can go away. Yeah, yeah, open. Oh, Starship launch for us to fuel. Perfect. Okay, cool. Woo! Hello. I don't know why he's just sitting there, but I don't want to upset him. Okay, cool. Right, so begin proof. Oh, we, apparently we've got a we've got a neutron processor on us, have we? All right, that's that's handy to know. Don't have to go back to the old Nexus. Oh, maybe okay. We need a harmonic cell and metal plating. Okay, fine. Let's see if I can make those things. And I've got no inventory space to put them in. Okay. Um, dang it. Right, let's call my ship closer. I can use that. Hello, mate. Oh, look at all that oxygen! Holy mackerel! I've got to, I've got to take advantage of that, people. Can't just let that just sit. That look at all of that! Holy cool! Okay, right. Let's grab all this. Yum yum oxygen. Okay, you know what? I can, I can grab this. I can grab this after I've done what I need to do. I'm recording right now. You don't want to see me just picking up a load of oxygen, and getting crazily stupidly excited for oxygen, do you? No, you don't. Okay, right. So here we go. We can bring up this so I can make the actual um, metal plating inside of my ship now. So here we go. Two metal platings. And also I needed... What was it? A um, thing. A hermetic seal. Dang it. I just saw it then. And again. There it is. Condensed carbon. Great. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't got none of that on me, but it is what it is. Stick that down then. Let's stick my carbon in there. Right, I need to put carbon in to charge it. I'll just put in 40. 50% should do enough, shouldn't it? And the rest of my carbon can go into there. And we'll make some condensed carbon. Fun times! I'm not too sure how much we need for a hermetic seal. I might as well just do the whole freaking stack. Dun -dun. Oh, let's just grab that for a second. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, run the wrong button. Starship. Can I make my hermetic seal now? I can indeedy doody. 
Okay, right. Now I should be able to put down my nutrient processor. There we are. Let's pick that up. Come in with me! Oh, hello, eyeball. Alright, cool. There we are. So I need to put the wheat in to make the flour. Wheat to make the flour. Boom. There we are. I've never made a biscuit before. I think this is a new cooking recipe. I have no idea why they've added in more cooking recipes if they're not going to overhaul cooking. Because what's the point in having cooked goods? I mean, you can go sell them to Cronus up in the actual Nexus. But handing them in, it's literally, I, honestly, I've fallen asleep doing it. It's freaking boring. They need to make it so you can hand in more than one at a blink in time. It's insane. All right, I put that inside my ship just to save some inventory space. Right, let's just have a look at the next step because I don't want to fluff this up. Come on, give me the next step. Oh, fudge and hack. Go in there, go select the cookie again. Tell me what I need to do next. Okay, prepare the sugar using sweet root. Okay, here we are. Sugar using sweet root. Bam, 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 bam. Prepare the ingredients. Sugar dough. Mix the flour and sugar in the nutrient processor. Okay, we can do this. Sweet sour dough. Nice, okay. Oh, fine. That's made. We stick the sugar over there. Sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. I'm going to mix that into there. There we are. We're doing that step then. Okay. Bake your chosen biscuit. Experiment mixing ingredients with sugar dough to bake different items discovered. Okay. Uh. Right, fine. So we've got that in there. Well, let's get that and stick it over there then. That's not going to make a biscuit. Okay, so... Oh, that's going to make a simple biscuit. we we'll just do one and make a simple biscuit, I guess. Hold on. Where's the expedition? Can I just make any old biscuit? Bake some biscuits. Create the biscuit. All right, well, it's going to make a normal biscuit. So let's just do one normal biscuit then. I just want one biscuit. There we go. Let's Let's begin that. We have that then. Let's see if that pops the badge. Well, that didn't pop the badge, did it? I was lucky I didn't make a whole freaking stack of them then, isn't it? All right, okay. So let's go into here then and let's just stick something else in with it. What about frozen tubers? Is that going to give me a different biscuit? Or oh, it's going to give me a weird one. Let's go see if that pops the badge then. Let's just make one of them. Oh, I can only make two of them, apparently. All right, fine. Let's, let's do that then. Okay. We made one of them. Let's see if that pops the badge. It did! Heck yes! Okay. Get some bacon. You know what? I'm going to make some more of them biscuits just because I can. There we are. Let's just do the whole freaking lot then. Can I have all of them? Please make my biscuits. There we are. We're getting biscuits. We're getting biscuits. The biscuits are quite easy to make, actually. Not that they serve any purpose or, or use. We can go sell those to Kronos, though. Might as well. You coming with me? I want, I want a spider tank as a pet. All right, there we go. Let's get in here, then. Just getting in there so my hazard protection goes back up, people. Let's just pop that, then. There we are. Planet cleanser. Biological sample. Supreme mining bean upgrade. Triple burst fireworks. Oh, they're spoiling us, people. They're spoiling us. And you've given us some trinkets to install a cage as well. Why the fudge not? Yes, why the fudge not indeed. Okay, oh, we've got quite a few of them. All right. Well, what I might do then is just move that over there. And then move that into there. For now. Cool, yeah. Get all of the adjacencies. And it looks prettier that way. And I think I've popped everything I need to pop. Oh, we've got ourselves a new one of these. That's, that's very cool. All right, well, we'll stick that there then. How? Okay, we might as well recharge up our uh, warp drive while we're at it. Done. Okay, well, what's next then? In the way of expedition. Create the, create the memory of bone. This memory fragment is a fragment of the cosmos. One filament is an infinite galaxy of possibilities. Reach your stars using X and awaken this memory. Okay, all right. Is it going to let me create that? 
Okay, wrong button then, I guess. Raft A. I can see it in there, A. Yeah. But it's not in the list after I go in there. Brilliant. Right. Um, maybe I need to get the other fragments out of my freaking ship first. And put them into this one. Let's try that. Let's give that a go. Yeah, yeah. I knew I should have transferred those ones over. Uh, put that there. Starship. And I'll have that. Oh, I've not got no space. Story of my life. Uh, radio then. Um, what can I put in that ship? Oh, we'll just get rid of that. We don't need that. Oh, hold on. What's it doing now? It's still not there, though. Still not still not there for me to craft. Even though it's saying to craft it. A craftable product. Pressing A. I am pressing A. Hold on. Let's go to all. That helps. Fudge and hack. I'm a div. Okay, right, we need cadmium and we need some ionised cobalt. So before we leave this planet, I'll go find a cave. And uh, we get some cobalt. But before we do that, I'm going to go get all that oxygen. I'll go find a cave and then I'll reconvene after I grab that oxygen. Right there, people. I'm going to show you how I find a cave if you can't find one naturally by looking. You just dig a hole. Okay, so you dug a hole underground. Once you're deep enough underground, deeper underground, and then you go into your scanner, hopefully you're going to see some sort of subterranean relic or something, or some sort of marker that you wouldn't normally see above ground. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to work. And it hasn't right now. Oh, there's a there's an unknown grave over there. But, um, yeah, okay, right, well, I carry in deep in it. Oh, I'm going back on myself now, I think, aren't I? I don't know, actually. Who freaking knows? Oh, that's weird. That's my tunnel that I just dug. And it goes all the way over here. Okay, cool. Carry on digging. Dig, 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 dig. Don't want to go too far from my ship if I can help it. I'm just going to keep looking to see if I see some sort of subterranean relic. There might not be many caves on this planet. That's always a thing as well. I mean, I was flying over it for a while and I couldn't find any caves. So maybe it's just not a very cavey planet, people. And I'm not seeing any subterranean relics or anything like that. So you know what? I might as well go back to trying to find it on another planet or something, because this planet's a bit naff. So what I figured, people, is I need cadmium anyway. So hopefully I can find the cadmium system. So let's, uh, let's just jump systems. Now, where you get cadmium is on red stars. So if I just go to, say, that one right there, that looks like a red star. Go on, on there. There you are, that's a red star. We'll go there, and hopefully we'll get some cadmium here. Cool, yeah. Okay, chums, well, here I am, standing in a cave. Yeah, and I found myself some cobalt. There you go, that's what cobalt looks like. We can zappicate that cave. Yes. Right, let's get back out of this cave. It's not a very deep cave, this one that I found, but yeah. I flew to a cadmium system, and as I was flying over a planet that has cadmium, I jumped into this little hole that I saw. Lovely jubbly. Got here. So I just spotted it. Now, this is one of those exotic planets. Now, I do know that you can actually get a reward for scanning a, a creature on one of these planets. So let's get that scanned. I think it's in the next phase, though. Doesn't really matter, though. Chicka boom. There we are. Thought so. Nice one. Two birds, one stone. Well, one weird creature, one stone. Ah, uh, no, it's not that one, is it? Ah, you get back. Right, okay. So I can go and claim that anyway. There it is over there. Boom! Lovely. Anyway, back to the mission at hand. Back to season phase four. So we're supposed to be doing this, aren't we? So yeah, that's, um, let's get the old refiner out. In fact, I don't need to. I've got one in my person now, haven't I? So let's uh, go to my person. We've got... the. Oh, is, where did I put it? i put it over here. Brilliant. There we are. Uh, let's get that charged up. I just put some copper in it for now, just to freaking free up some space. So I'm just going to turn that into chromatic metal, just to get some more chromatic metal done. And then I'll be sticking in that uh, cobalt that we just got. The cobalt will then turn into ionised cobalt. We didn't really need this chromatic metal. I just didn't want to take up another inventory spot. Right, there we go. I'm really suffering for uh, inventory at the moment. And there we are. Get that on the bike. 
In fact, I don't even think I've got room to put this inside of my inventory. And so while we're waiting for that to go around, we'll have a look. No, we haven't at the moment. Because this is all freaking full of stuff, isn't it? Well, let's, let's pop that. There we are. Uh, I don't think we're going to need any more salt. The only thing is, I know blatantly, if I delete it, the very next mission is going to be, get yourself some salt. Isn't it? it? It blatantly is. So, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about deleting anything, to be honest. Okay, well, we can get rid of that bit of cobalt, can't we? What's going on there? I thought I put in a whole stack of cobalt. Alright, fine. I don't know how much cobalt we need, but it's just taking freaking time and a half. So let's just stop it for a second. Let's just grab that. Put that in there. And I guess we're taking this out as well then. Right, let's have a look-see what we can create now. Can we create it yet? No, because we still need the cadmium, Steve. Yes, we do. We need the cadmium. Okay, right. Well, let's go back to my ship. Where's my shipty ship? Ship, where are you, ship? Oh, there you are. Right next to me. You know what? I'm just going to stick a load of stuff in my ship. Yeah, because why the fudge not? Ship. Oh, ship. Oh, I'll definitely put the warp fuel in there. And the ship fuel. Might as well put that in there as well, because I'm only going to use that while I'm in space. We'll use that as well. Put the map in there. There we go. There's so much that I can just harvest away inside of my ship. There we are. I don't put that in there. Right, okay, cool. Now we've got a load of free slots. That made a lot more sense, didn't it? Why didn't I do that before? Okay, right. Anyways, we need to get cadmium. Let's see if we can find cadmium on the old doohickey. Come on, come on, come on. Big cadmium. Big... Yes, cadmium. Is there any closer than that? There's 600 odd U's. Nope, oh, I'm going to have to go for that one. 600 odd U's away. Silver deposit. Go on, big cadmium. Cadmium, only 200 U's. There we are. That's better. Let's go grab that, people. It's only a stone's throw away. Hiya! Melee strafe jump! Yes, I can do that now. I've got enough movement modules. Pretty nice, huh? Sweet! Ow! That was my legs. I just broke. Okay, right. Let's, um, let's get this manipulated out of the ground. There we are. Now, I'm going to need quite a fair chunk of cadmium, to be fair. Because I want to create well, like warp engines inside my freighter and inside of my starships. So I'm going to grab this, but I'm probably going to keep some of it back in my stack. And maybe duplicate the heck out of it. But I can do that in my own time. You've seen me duplicate things in the past, or previous episodes, if you've been watching this playlist so far anyway. So let's zap all this out of the ground. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, so if you shrink the beam, which you do by hitting your top buttons up here you can either make it smaller or bigger left to make it go smaller right to make it go larger yes it's going to take you longer to get it all out the ground but you're going to get a lot more cadmium than if you kept the beam large so yeah it takes a bit of a while anyway i'll continue mining this and i'll be back with you once i've got it all out the ground people oh dear me Oh, owl. There we go. I am ready to create whatever that freaking thing is. Let's go create it inside my ship. Might as well do it here. Memory of bone! There we go. And now we can do the reveal memory. Usually you have to do it in space, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, do it in space. Okay, here we go, then. Let's take the space. Space in your face. Let's go. And engage. Boom! I guess. And let's begin the ritual. Wrong button. There we are. Then pulse. Pulsing through space we go. Uh, come on. Any second now. Should bring in whatever this curiosity is. From the badge, it looks like a giant skull. Yeah, there's a giant skull. There we go. We've got an incoming message. Memory status corrupted. Atlas diagnostics. Begin log readout. A cycle. Rebirth, death, extinction. Iteration. All life just an echo before dust and decay. Absorb the memory! I cannot help but grasp at the sheer size of the titan dwelling within this memory. Illusion or not, I'm glad it's only bones. As my initial surprise fades, I find myself wondering, why is this creature dead? Why not choose to remember it in the glory of life? And what could kill such a being? It's good questions, but the bones do not answer my questions. Dang you! They merely exist. Okay, all right, fine. Now, I think you get something quite cool if you shoot these things. 
Um, well, maybe you don't then. Do you just fly into them? Can't remember. Maybe you do just fly into them. No, you don't fly into them, Steve. Ah! You used to be able to shoot them and you used to get stuff. I'm sure you did. Alright, fine. We're not doing that then today. I don't want to die. Right, okay, let's collect that. Done, dilly and done. Memory of the Void. Pre-packaged launch and auto-charge unit. Supreme Pulse Engines. I guess. Wow, we've learnt that. Okay, so we need Pugnium and Gold. I went and got rid of a load of Pugnium, didn't I? Okay, I guess we're going to have to go kill some more Sentinels. Or I could just duplicate some. And Gold you get from shooting Asteroids. Is there any Asteroids I could be shooting right here, right now? There's not right here, right now. You know what, let's just... Let's just move on anyway, because we've got we've still got one more step to do inside of this, and this video is getting quite long. So here we go, rendezvous four. Let's go do this. Hopefully, I can jump all the way there because I've boosted my frickin's. Um, oh look, it's right there. It's not far anyway. Cool, not very far from rendezvous one. Okay, well I'll see you there, people. Okay, so I've arrived, okay, and I'm just going to fly inside of the station, upgrade my grade my exosuit. Make sure that I've, um, oh, we need to talk to some more aliens as well. So I'm just going to talk to some aliens in here. And it might pop another badge in Phase 5 or whatever. But, you know, we've still got to do Phase 5. So if we can do it today, why put off till tomorrow? Ha! I okay, guess so let's just land in here. And let's go talk to some aliens very quickly. Hit the portal as well, just to make sure that it's definitely in the old portal directory. Not knowing whether you need to do that or not. I've, I've had people tell me you've got to do that. But I haven't done that in the past. And it always adds it to my portal directory. But now they've made me nervous. So here we go. Let's head on up the stairs. Um, I do like the way my character looks at the moment, peeps. I'm just going to talk to a couple of aliens. Okay, here we go. Hello, mate. Quest dialect help. Top option. You can probably hear me clicking away on my joypad like a crazy man possessed. And then I'm just going to go over and uh, make sure I add this into there as well. Not that you really need to do this step. But there we are. Done, and I haven't visited you. If you have visited them, it says visited above their head. Kind of nice. All right, people. Well, I'm just going to crack on with this. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my exosuit, like I said, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, people, I just popped the badge for linguist or whatever it is. Astro linguists. Brilliant. So that's in another phase. So let's just pop on over into this menu. There we are. We collect that one as well. Done. So we've got a little head start on the next phase now, people. Heck yes, we do. Anyways, I'm just going to jump on over here. Go and expand my exosuit by one slot. And I think I've even got a ship storage slot, an augmentation slot, I think. So let's just pop on over here. It got gifted to me as a reward. I'm fairly sure it did anyway. Yeah, upgrade starship. Let's have a look-see. It's in my... Sh I'm fairly sure I put it inside my ship. Starship, over here. Oh, it's cargo bulkhead. It's actually for the freighter, people. All right, well, let's, let's, well, I don't really need that in there, to be honest. I don't really even need that one in there, to be fair. Let's take that one back out and let's put it inside my Starship for now. Because we haven't got a bolt caster, so there's no point in really having that there. This, though, would be quite handy. There's live support. So there we go. Or shield tanks, one or the other. Cool, yeah, I do. Right, let's go on over here then. Let's get the free slot that I was on about. It's not free, I have to pay for it. But you can do this in each of the stations. If you call in the Nexus, up where all the actual vendors are, you can do it again, each system, if you really want to. Okay, right. Well, let's head on down to the rendezvous point. Oh, you can see the actual proper colour of my ship in here. Is it black or is it blue? Or is it purple? Or is it green? It's a whole medley of colours. To be honest, I'll probably try and find myself a different Sentinel ship that does match my colour scheme a bit better, but I do like this one. It's very unusual. Okay, right, here we are. I'll spin this around. Meow! And we're heading over to this lovely marble. Brilliant! Rendezvous 4. Let's go. Tally ho! And away I go! Brilliant! Cool, I'll see you down at the planet. Okay, now I'm heading down towards Rendezvous 4. And as you know, I'm going to head towards the nearest comms ball that pops up. Because that's usually a key indicator of where the actual physical location is that you need to go to. So there we are. There's the first comms ball I saw. I'm going to arrive at Kate here. Is there a lot of comms balls? I don't know, actually. Okay, this is a bit weird. It says comm station. Oh, maybe it's over the hill then. Yeah, here it is. I do like the Sentinel ships because you can just hover in place. You've got so much more control in these Sentinel ships. 
Freaking awesome. There we are. Let's land here then. Sweet. Let's jump on out of the ship. Chicka pow pow, chicka bum bum. I've arrived, decoded. Cool. And there we are. Rendezvous four. Super smashing great. Okay, so here we go. Into here. Expedition. Back into phase four. Claim that reward. Nice. Multi tool inventory slots times three. Cool. Oh, it's letting me put them in here. I don't have to go to the station. That's good. You know what? They can just go there. I do. Thank you very much. Into here. Claim that as well. Atlas flight pack. Oh, really? Shall we head up to the station quickly, people? Shall we go stick that on? I think we should. Heck yes, I'll see you in the station. We'll go stick on this jetpack and we'll have a quick look at it, mate. Freaking excellent, eh? Heck yes. Okay, chums, I'm back up in the old station. And I'm heading over to this little guy here, the appearance modifier. I'm going to backpack. And we should have the latest backpack, which is that one. Come on, load in. Brilliant. It's already kept the colours that I like. Oh, my days. The only thing is, I don't. Re I think this one at the bottom changes the colour of the crystal. And I want the crystal to be red. So maybe I need to change the secondary colour to black. Oh, no. I think I still want that red as well. That'll do. What about the first colour of black? A little bit too dark, I think. I'm going to go for white. There we are. That'll do. And yes... Freaking awesome. Look at that. Oh, it's got blue exhaust exhausts. I would like red, but I don't think I've unlocked any new ones inside of here as yet, have I? Backpack. No, I don't think I have. I've just got the standard trail. and um, I've got a blue trail. Standard trail. I'll just go for standard for now, but we're going to have to unlock the others. I guess we are. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. There we are. That's a little bit better than blue. Cool. I think I'm looking pretty darn freaking gnarly now. Anyway, there we go, people. That's oh, oh, I need to jump in my ship out of my ship. Create a save quickly before I log on off, I guess. In my ship. Out of my ship. And then we'll be doing the last phase next episode, people. It'll be the last episode. But then I might do sub-episodes of doing all the surveying. You know, the optional missions. Just to see what they're like. Might do at least one anyway. Okay, cool. Let's exit out then. Go cool. and quit to desktop. Cool. Yeah, quit. Sweet. Well, people in the viewerverse, thank you very much for watching these episodes. Hopefully you're liking them. If you are, other people might. Share them on social media. Share the whole playlist. That'd be freaking awesome if you can do that for me. That'd be top notch. Anyways, um, I hope you're not having any more problems with this. Hopefully that, that uh, patch has fixed your bug with your ceiling light. Hopefully you've managed to claim everything. And there's not much time remaining left on this expedition now. I honestly think that come next Wednesday, we're probably going to see this go out to everybody. Will we get an update with it? Or is this it? Is it going to be just the expedition and that new console to allow us to run expeditions anytime we like? It does make expeditions almost like an extension of story and lore now, doesn't it? I kind of like what they've done with it. But does that mean that this is the last expedition? I need to do some speculation on that because they did call this Omega, which is like the last digit or something in the whatever, you know. Anyway, the Greek thing. Anyway, until next time, people. Salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.